Hi guys, my name's uh, Mr. Atford. Um, start off with a question. Who here has made a paper airplane at some point in their lives? Pretty good response. Now, have any of you sat back and thought about what is the history of the paper airplane? None? Well, I found myself thinking about what I was going to talk about. I said, well, how long have paper airplanes been around? Did a little bit of research and I found that we go back to 500 BCE, uh, the invention of paper in ancient China. And you're figuring at some point they want to start making some paper airplanes and they start flying them around. So all right, that's pretty interesting. So we'll go forward a, three year, a few years and we uh, meet Mr. Leonardo da Vinci. Now, in between all this painting, true research actually on this, they said that they found in his writings, he's made paper airplanes out of his parchment. Also very interesting. Go forward a few years and then the Wright brothers. Who knows who they are? Answer for me. They invented the first airplane. And I said, all right, well, makes sense. Why are they making paper airplanes? They eventually make the big guys. Uh, it turns out that they had their own very nice wind tunnel in their house. And they uh, tested the forces that acted upon flying objects. And they said, well, how are we going to control this plane when we have people up in the air? Now, uh, I made this guy here, regular 8.5 by 11 paper, pretty standard model. Uh, you can get a lot more complicated. Uh, but I decided to make the regular guy, and uh, as everyone knows, or you can see, lightning bolts and flames actually make the airplane fly farther. <laughs> um, so I decided to go with both lightning and flames. Uh, I had a guy in here, but Austin Transport. So. <laughs> they actually have a Guinness World Record uh, for flying airplanes around. They have an open warehouse, currently they have it every year, uh, somewhere in California, and everyone shows up with their little airplane and they fl fly it around. And then for that, they decide who wins the Guinness Record. Not on distance, but actually how long it stays in the air. And uh, I'll throw this guy here, and you'll see how long it lasts in the air. <laughs> so we'll say about a second. Uh, the world record is held by uh, a guy from Norway, I believe, and it's actually his stay for almost half a minute in here. And he zoomed it around this warehouse, and I think it lost just short of 27 seconds. Okay, like, Legitimate. Just, piece of paper? Yeah, but then he made some weird design. They called it the glider. <laughs> Don't know how to make it. Just showed the guy holding his little paper airplane. Uh, 1998, his record still stands. Um, other than that, uh, I, mean, I hope to be like him. <laughs> 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 <laughs>